Motherfucker, I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. I'm driving around in my mom's ride. I'm awesome. A quarter of my life gone by, and I met all my friends online. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. Right, we're back now. We're gonna take all these rocket grunts. I had to revive Rygan because, you know, experience. What do you want? Why are you here, man? Why are any of us here? What is this life? Is, is it just fantasy? Oh my god, a landslide! Don't get caught in it! You'll have no escape from reality! And you won't be able to open your eyes, look up to the skies, and see... I'm just a poor boy! I'll stop now. Isn't there a reference for that, like, uh, shit I'm coming off my... I, I, what is it? Like, if you're coming off a drug trip, a certain reference, I, I, uh. Is this gonna be forever? Oh, um, David after dentist. That's what you were thinking of, wasn't it? Oh, uh, I don't know, I've just heard the reference secondhand, I don't know the source. Yeah, it's, um, is this the real world? Is this gonna be forever something like that? David after dentist. Hmm. Oh my god, a Golbat! Someone actually managed to evolve their Pokémon for once. Call the fucking presses. They need to hear about this unbelievable story. <laughs> yeah, it went... Oh, you would make him flinch, wouldn't you? Come on, Ry Oh, damn, Rygan. What is up with Rygan, like, sir, just barely hanging on with, like, really little health? Is he just, like, my focus band? Oh, wing attack. It was going to insult us by using... Ah, uh, shit. Come on, Rygan, you can do it. I believe in you! And it used Astonish. Come on, Rygan, you can do it. No, you can't. You need more super potions. But you'll level up after this, so it's all worth it, right? Right? That's going to finish me off with Astonish, you bitch. Stop spamming Astonish! It barely <coughs> does anything! And I swear to God, if I would have flinched after I said it barely did anything, I would have... <laughs> That's the thing with it. It just... If you get locked in an Astonish thing... Oh, isn't that annoying? Rygan got confused, but... Okay, good. He's still attacked. And... Wow, he's almost caught up with the rest of the party at this point. And he's level 29. Awesome. He'll learn... Imagine a Zubat paralyzing you, then confusing you. And then only using Astonish at you. Dude, um, Paralyzing and Confusion is called Parafusion, and it's actually a really good strategy. Like, they only have a 25% chance of attacking you. It is so cheap. And it seems like it'd be a lot less than that. Nah, it's because, um, I think it's something like that. And Lapras is one of the best ones to use it, because Lapras learns both Body Slam, which has a high chance of paralyzing, and... Well, not really a high chance, but a higher chance than most things. And Confuse Rate, which is a 100% accuracy confusing move. So, yeah. Come on, Rygan. Burn the giant. Come on, Rygan. You can survive this. You can sur- Oh! God damn it. It killed Rygan with self-destruct. Fuck <laughs> you, Coffin. Fuck you. No mercy. That's it. That brings up a funny memory. Uh, playing Emerald, um, going after, I think it was Reggie Steel or one of them. You get it down to really, really low red health and put a status effect on it. And then, like, go through about 30 to 35 Pokeballs so you know it's taking a long time. And then it self-destructs on you. And you have to do it all over again. Registeel can't learn. Luke, why are you missing? Stop missing. You suck. I don't love you. No, it was all... It was explosion or self-destruct. But Registeel... I don't think they can learn that, though. No, all of them. They all have it in, from the wild. Really? I yeah. I know that. Finally, Luke managed to figure it off. And Luke comes online when I say that. I should message him, tell him how much he sucks. I'll do it for you. Oh, and you don't even... You don't even level up. Fucking hell, Luke. What are you good for? Absolutely nothing. You're like war. Except instead of never changing, you always change, you indecisive bitch. Right. I'm actually gonna do something I've been meaning to do and teach Luke a really good grass type move. Yes, bullet seed. We're gonna teach him bullet seed. No, we're going to teach him Giga Drain. Giga Drain. Guren Ragunara. <laughs> uh, we're gonna make him forget tackle. Or <laughs> if I make him forget tackle, he'll know nothing but grass type moves. So instead, yeah, I'll make him forget uh, leech seed instead. 
What Pokemon would Lord Genome be? <coughs> With Lord Gino? Who? Oh, oh, oh yeah, him. Um, probably fighting. They'd probably all be fighting type. No, uh, but I mean not type. What Pokemon exactly? Oh, um, <coughs> Mewtwo. He'd be a fighting type. Mewtwo! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> See, this is why I didn't make it forget tackle because it's actually useful against these fucking Zubat. And as I s you're ten levels higher than it, Luke. For fuck's sake, stop sucking. <laughs> and now it's basically—it's like I'm sorry, Master. He's, he's basically bashing his head into the ground, which apparently <laughs> snapped him, which apparently snapped him out of confusion, and then he tackled the small bat again. You know what, we're switching to Tog. Just... Just fucking hell, Luke. I'm disappointed in you. I really am. Ariel <laughs> Asura! <laughs> See, Tog can one-shot these Zubat. Why can't you be more like Tog, Luke? Are you gonna be able to see... <laughs> a Skype message real quick? Uh, no. Why? Can you just, like, pause the recording quick and read this? Uh, hold on. Let me finish this fight. Also, I just used Brick Break on a Rattata. Or... It's about to use Raticate. Yeah, I'll switch back to Luke because he needs to level up. <laughs> yeah, he needs to be level 34. I can't stand to have my starter not be my highest level. It's just a pet peeve of mine. Let's try out Giga Drain. <coughs> Giga Drain will um, replenish half of whatever damage it does to the opponent to your health. So yeah, it's a really good move, and it will help Venusaur immensely in what I'm eventually hoping to turn it into. And with that, we've defeated all the Rockets on here. Don't fight us, Rockets! Why? I just beat the shit out of you. You don't intimidate at all. You're, uh, Why would you fight a Rocket, Fallout? It's gonna blow up on you. <laughs> just, hey, you came to save me? Thank you, but I came here my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Metawak's spirit has finally left us. Yeah, because I kind of killed it. I must thank you for your kind concern. <laughs> Follow me to my home, Pokemon <laughs> House. Big fucking spider on my wall. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh god, that poor bastard. Right, and we go here and we talk to him. Still have this creepy ass music. Fallout, your Pokedex Quake is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon. It's fast, I can fucking kill! <laughs> oh no! no! <laughs> <laughs> right, we receive the Poke Flu, which is what we need to wake the Snorlax up, and we'll do that in a bit, but right now I'm going to have to pause the recording for a bit because I need to go do Aaron, so BRB. It sounded like I need to go do Aaron. Yeah, Aaron, I'm coming for you, BRB. And we're back. Um, off screen, I fought all the trainers that were on the uh, route that we're going to right now, and I also got a TM that I'm going to show you as soon as we get to where we need to go to show it. Need Wait, to get. Where are you, Fault? What was the last city you were at? Uh, Lavender Town. Right, you talk to this girl, she gives you a move called Return, which, um, the more your Pokemon like you, like, the more friendship they have, the more damage it'll do. Like I say, it's a really good damage. There's a man fishing, and if you look through these binoculars, it's a Pokemon tower, so yeah, there's a certain binoculars where you can see Snorlax, certain ones where I think you can see Articuno, and yeah, stuff like that. How do you raise the friendship stat? By using potions and keeping them from dying? Master, um, please, please use the potion on me. Um, and then by, one of the other injured Pokemon starts fighting it to the death for the potion. By using them in battle, by walking around with them in the front of the party, by... Uh, how else? Um, I think... What else was it? Um, you know what would be hilarious in Pokemon Yellow? Giving them certain items, like, to hold and stuff, and what's that? Releasing Pikachu at the PC. Oh, God. Right, we're gonna save before we fight this Snorlax for no apparent reason whatsoever. I mean, it's not like I want to catch it for my party or anything like that. <laughs> oh, wait, I totally want to catch it for my party or something like that. Yeah, we use the Poke Flute, which is actually quite a calming tune. Also, Oh, an another thing? I never knew that you could catch Pikachu in the first games. I thought that was just not in them for some reason. Wow. Also, <coughs> you can, um... You can... What was I gonna say? Fuck. I forgot what I was gonna you say. You can fuck? 
Yes, you can fuck if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. We're gonna go ahead and put it to sleep, which, admittedly, putting it to sleep won't do much because it's holding a berry that's gonna wake it up, so... So wait, you can fuck if you want to leave your friends behind. Does that imply getting whipped? <laughs> is that is that Luke? Damn it, Aaron. I'm gonna go kill that. <laughs> right, I put it to sleep to go ahead and get that berry out of the way. Um, Snorlax is kind of hard to catch, so this fight might take a while. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't get lucky. Uh, great ball. Go. Chunk balls at it till it become... I still don't know how they fit. Oh. Oh. How can you fail at catching something that's asleep, and how can you miss something that's asleep? Because I have actually missed attacks on something that's asleep. That makes no sense. Oh, um, bitch. it depends. What's the attack? Um like tackle and stuff like that you were running at it full speed implying to like crumple its skull inwards but you tripped on your own legs and you went sliding past it harmlessly by the way um snorlax his really good stats are his attack his hp and his special defense i have a strategy with snorlax that will basically make him an unstoppable monster in certain gym areas wait is someone gonna be snorlax uh, yeah, dude, I'm getting Snorlax from my team, because he's really good. Who's it going to be? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I, actually, I haven't decided yet. Wait, do you want to be Snorlax? No, I want the other one. Okay. Oh, Fuck. I'm already fed enough. I don't need to roleplay a fat guy. <laughs> I accidentally killed it, so, um, yeah, we'll be right back after I've caught it. Two! Two great balls that time, and it wasn't even, as even asleep, and I caught it. Mm. Wow, that's kind of shocking, actually. Snorlax was caught. Snorlax's data was added to the Pokedex. Is it bad that I avoided using Drayton Ultra Balls as a kid because I didn't like their sprite as much as a normal Pokeball, so I made it harder on myself? No words. <laughs> it is not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it is done eating, it goes. It promptly goes to sleep. So it's basically half of the internet. <laughs> give it a no, that'd be if it fapped and then went to sleep. Right, I'm only going to give it a temporary nickname because I'm going to name this after someone. And the guy who I was originally going to name it after, I'm not sure if he's still watching. But uh, Gray, if you're watching, tell me. Cerno, if you're watching, tell me. And the first, and if either of those tells me, uh the first one who says, I want it, can have it. So until then, we are going to name him...